Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to use a variables as a file. So for this, I already created the YAML file here. So in my previous video, I have shown the same with the variables. In this case, I'm going to show it as a file. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, so for this, I have created the YAML file. I'm going to explain this one. So in my first task, I'm going to create the file which I have already given as a variable. So we can replace the file uh, value, anything so that it can going to create here. And let's going to echo the value of greetings and user. And that value I'm going to copy into my file here. So this is my YAML file. And this is going to be the variables.yaml file. So here, uh, this name, you can give anything. So th there is a, a your wish. And uh, here, I'm going to give the keys greetings, which is for value welcome. Same here for user. And uh, the username is Sasi here. And file value, I'm going to give as a file one here. So let's go, let's uh, create the script here. Um, so I have already uh, written my script here. You can see uh, in my myplaybook.yaml. So this is the uh, same script which I have created. And here is my variables.yaml. So here I have created for the uh, variables values. So let's uh, let's execute this one. Uh, before that, uh, let's check whether the files are executed under the uh, opt directory. So you can see here there is no file one. Same like for the uh, server uh, slave to machine. I don't have um, a file uh, file one dot uh, txt. So let's execute this one. Uh, for this Ansible, uh, you have to use Ansible playbook and your playbook name. And uh, to pass your uh, variables file, you have to use iPhone, iPhone, extra iPhone wars. And then you have to use quotation and mention at at is going to present your variable file name here. So I'm um, my variable file name is variables dot yaml and close this quotation. Then I'm going to do the dry run first so that I uh, let me check whether it's uh, without error executing or not. I am giving iPhone iPhone check that then I'm giving enter. So it's, it's executing fine. So let's uh, write uh, do the uh, real one. Um, so I'm just uh, deleting this iPhone iPhone check. Let execute this playbook. Now um, it's you can see all all these three things got changed now, which means uh, it's it have done this task. So let's go to our uh, directory and you can see here uh, we have more um, that we have see file one dot txt here and uh, let's elaborate here. Welcome to see here. Same like we have here also the same file. And we can see here, welcome to see. So uh, like this, you can do. Uh, so if I'm going to edit this playbook uh, now, um, I can edit this. So I'm going to edit it as uh, welcome DevOps and the value I'm going to file. Uh, so here I'm going to give as uh, DevOps.txt. So uh, let's close this again. And I'm going to execute the file uh, script again. Let's see what will happen. So now uh, again, uh, it got uh, changed. Let's see uh, in my slave machines. So these two slave machines having the devops.txt file. So here is my welcome devops. Same like, so I can see uh, in my second slave machine as well, welcome devops. So like this, you can use your variables in Ansible playbook by passing iPhone, iPhone, extra iPhone wars comment. So I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video is helpful, then uh, give thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Follow for the more videos. Thanks for watching.